Welcome to another episode of Eric Wade Whiskey Studies, and in this video, we're going to continue our series on the business of Scotch whiskey. Uh, we're going to look at, uh, in this video, uh, the importance of Scottish exports as well as internally uh, the Scotch whiskey industry in terms of those who work uh, in the Scotch whiskey industry. And while I go over my notes, I'm going to be enjoying a dram of the Ockentoshan American Oak. This is bottled at 40% alcohol by volume. Real nice, light, uh, fruity, single malt. I also like to make cocktails uh, with this, uh, particularly the uh, Akintoshin Ale, which you take an IPA, a little bit of Akintoshin, uh, and some honey syrup. Really, really, really nice. Alrighty, let's get into my notes. Scotch whiskey exports are vital to the success of the whiskey industry. Scotch whiskey exports make up more than 90% of all whiskey sold. However, it's important to note that there is a difference between the value of exports and volume of exports. For example, a certain market may import more single malt whiskey than blended whiskey, and this may impact the value of that market to the industry. The USA has consistently been the highest market in terms of value. But France has been the highest market in terms of volume. Scotch whiskey accounted for 73% of Scottish food and drink exports in 2016. Food and drink is the third largest sector in Scotland's economy. Certain markets have consistently appeared in the top 10 for exports, while others have dropped out or re-entered later. The USA has consistently been the largest market for Scotch whiskey in terms of value. The top 10 export markets by volume are France, USA, India, Spain, Mexico, Germany, South Africa, Brazil, Singapore, and Japan. The growth in single malt exports has been at a faster rate than that of Scotch overall for some time, and this can be seen in the latest figures for 2018. While the market share of single malt by volume was 9 to 10% of all Scotch whiskey exports, the value of those exports was 28% of the total. The importance of this single malt category cannot be underestimated to the profitability of the whiskey industry. Alrighty. So on the nose, you get a lot of citrus, orange, lemon, a little bit of that maltiness is there, a lot of honey, a little bit of vanilla, sort of a vanilla cream uh, or even an orange popsicle, some light floral notes on the palate. So Akintoshin was one of the first distilleries I, I visited in Scotland because it's just outside or actually on the outskirts of uh, Glasgow. So if you're ever making a trip to uh, Scotland, I highly recommend visiting the distillery. And you can check out my video. I'll put a link up here uh, up somewhere. Uh, on the palate, uh, the nose is confirmed. It's a lot of citrus, orange, lemon, got some vanilla, hint of uh, maltiness uh, in there. I do get sort of the florals on the back end. Real silky, easy to drink. It's not a complicated whiskey. Uh, you know, this is not sort of a, you know, thought provocative whiskey. It's sort of a light, sort of no-brainer, enjoyable dram. And as you can see, I got fairly uh, far down uh, into the bottle. So I, it's one I really, really like. So we saw in the notes uh, the, the importance of exports for the Scotch whiskey industry. But... It's also really, really important as part of internal, um, uh, part of the economy, not just in terms of sales inside, but in terms of bringing people into the UK, bringing people into Scotland, because what you get outside, particularly once you get outside of Edinburgh and Glasgow, and you get out into uh, sort of the outskirts of Scotland, into the islands or up in the highlands of Speyside, um, what you become really aware of is 
just how much open space and out in the country everything is. Scotland is just a little bit larger than the state of California in terms of a landmass, but because of the way it's all broken up with the islands, uh, there's a lot of sort of physical disconnect uh, to to topographically. Um, and those who are living outside of those two major cities, um, how much, you know, what is going on out there? You know, I, I, economically, I see a lot of sheep, a lot of cows, uh, small towns, but you're really out in the country. You're not going to see shopping malls. You're not going to see any major businesses out there other than the distilleries. And so if you're living out there, uh, you know, uh, having an economy that is either directly or indirectly related to the distillery is really, really, really important. And if you're a, uh, traveling in Scotland, coming from the outside and visiting these areas, you know, I think it's really helpful to have this in mind just to know how important your business is when you travel there and you're staying in hotels, you're eating at restaurants, uh, and, um, you know, paying to visit distilleries and so forth. It's really, really important to the people who are living there. And some areas, say like Isla, Orkney, you know, uh, these are areas which, um, if it wasn't for the distilleries, what other economy would there be? And so entire families generationally uh, have been working in the distilleries. It's not uncommon to go to a distillery and find a young person there, maybe 18 you know, years old working there, and their mother works there, their father works there, their uncle works there, their grandfather had worked there. Generation after generation of people uh, working in these distilleries. Alrighty, uh, let's move on and uh, get it, get back into the notes. The Scotch whiskey industry plays a vital role in supporting the UK economy, not just from export income. The sector directly contributes over 3.2 billion pounds to the Scottish economy. When indirect and induced effects are taken into consideration, the industry's impact is 4.7 billion pounds. The industry is rooted in Scotland but benefits from a closely related supply chain in the rest of the UK. When the rest of the UK is taken into account, a further 268 million is injected into the economy, leading to a UK-wide impact of more than 4.9 billion pounds. Overall employment associated with Scotch whiskey in the UK is just below 40,200. The hospitality sector was the predominant factor for increased indirect employment. It is not just the number of jobs that the whiskey industry supports, it is the location of them too. The Scotch whiskey industry remains a significant employer in rural areas supporting 7,000 jobs provided in less accessible areas. Alrighty, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative, um, and I hope you go and visit Scotland. That's something I'm, you're going to hear a lot from me is trying to uh, promote people going to Scotland. I think you come away with a much uh, better understanding of the Scotch whiskey. Uh, you get a better understanding of the culture, the people, um, and, and you come away, I would say, sort of enchanted. You know, just really in love with Scotland as I have. And I look forward to uh, going back again, but was there in June 2018, July 2019, and I'm hoping to return in 2020. All right, that's it for this video. If you subscribe to the channel, I want to thank you very much. If you haven't yet subscribed, would you like to watch my videos? I would greatly appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit the bell to be notified uh, when I go live or post a new video. And, all right, until next time, cheers. Hey, if you like my review, be sure to check out these other whiskey videos.